Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today, I want to encourage you about God's inheritance. When we receive or are written into someone's will, we receive an inheritance and we're, we're often called heirs. The things that are passed down through families are called heirlooms. Well, you know, we've been made heirs because of faith in Jesus Christ and we have an inheritance. It doesn't matter whether you at the moment are really, really rich or you're absolutely impoverished in, 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 the, in, the, in the natural means, in the natural way. Once you have faith in Jesus Christ, you become an heir and receive an inheritance the same as everybody else does. It says in Titus 3, 7, that being justified by his grace, so if you've been justified by his grace, just as if you'd never done it, just as if I'd never sinned, then we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. So we, we get eternal life. But there's a lot of other things with it too that we get in this life as well because of it just the gifts, the, the fruit of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit, things like that. There's all sorts of things that we get bestowed on us. But when we leave this earth, we get eternal life through Jesus Christ. In, in Romans 8, it sort of clearly says this, and from verse 14 it says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. You know, in John 1, 12, it says that, that as many as believe gave he the right to be called children of God. So we are, have the right to be called children of God and because of that we will receive an inheritance from our Father. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. That's verse 15. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. In verse 17, and of children, which we are, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So we get glorified together with Christ. That's amazing. We are joint heirs with him. We get the same, the same as he gets. And over in Colossians 3, I think it is, I've missed the page of 3, and it says down in verse 24, Knowing that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. That's talking about servants obeying masters. But you know, all we have to do is put our faith in Jesus and believe in him and follow him and do what he asked. And we're written in that will in Hebrews it talks about a testament doesn't get enacted until the death of the testator. Well, Jesus Christ died. Okay, so then the new will got enacted and then he rose from the dead. And we have written in that will. And we will receive an inheritance. If you want an everlasting inheritance instead of just a worldly one, if you come now and humbly turn away from your way of life to turn towards Jesus which we call repentance and confess your sins to him if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved for whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the son of God God dwells in him and he in God and then when you have God dwelling in you and the Holy Spirit comes and fills you you have the seal of that inheritance in your life that you will receive it. God bless you. Have a great day.